So moving on to our next topic on mobile automation with APM, we are going to talk about how we can run our tests uh, on a real device. Now, until now, we have been uh, developing and we have been running our tests on uh, either emulators or simulators. But uh, I'm going to show you how you can connect your real device, uh, which would be an Android device, and then how we can run this uh, first test, which we have written here uh, in that particular device. So for that, uh, first, what we would do is we would try to find out the capabilities uh, which are required in order to connect to a real Android device. So for that, I'm going to launch the APM inspector. And here uh, we are going to connect to our real device. Now, before we do that, uh, before we add the new capabilities, uh, what we need to make sure is uh, our device, uh, in this case, it is an Android device. It is connected uh, through USB or through Wi-Fi uh, to your uh, particular device from where you are running this test, right? And then uh, the USB debugging uh, and the developer option is turned on in your settings. So I've already done this. I've already connected uh, my Android device uh, through USB uh, into my particular system. And I've already turned on the developer options and uh, the USB debugging uh, in my developer option settings, okay? So how you can make sure uh, is by going uh, into this system settings, okay? And there you'll find the developer options if it is enabled. And then uh, here you will see that uh, my USB debugging option is already enabled, okay? If you're connecting through wireless, then you need to enable the wireless debugging option. So if uh, you are not sure how to do this, then um, I have a different video uh, showing how to enable the developer options and the USB debugging option uh, in an Android device. So now that we have connected our device and the USB debugging option is also enabled, now we'll go ahead and we'll try to connect uh, to our device using the APM inspector. So for that, uh, we need to add two more capabilities, okay? So these are uh, the APM device name, okay? So this is the device name. And then uh, my device is uh, Moto underscore 820. So it is Moto 820. And then uh, we can also specify the platform version, which is nothing but the Android version, okay? So for that, uh, my Android version is 11. This you'll find uh, in the about phone section uh, of your device, okay? So these are the two additional capabilities uh, through which we can now connect to a real device, okay? Uh, rest of the capabilities can remain same. Um, so we have specified which platform it is. It is Android, the automation uh, framework, which is UI Automated 2, and the application which we want to run, okay? So we have provided the path uh, of the particular application which we want to install and run. So now um, if I go ahead and run or do the start session, the APM uh, server should be running in the background and uh, you will see, and uh, in the background, if I go back to my device, you will see that it has launched the application which I've specified and that you can also see it in the inspector, okay? So now, I can interact with this application, which is running on a real device, okay? So uh, now I can inspect the elements and uh, I can then continue with my automation. Now, this is how you can do it from uh, the inspector, right? But uh, if you want to run this from um, our project or our automation code, then we need to add the same capabilities uh, into our code and then try to connect it from there. So uh, let's go ahead and do that. So let's close this and uh, we'll go back to our class where we have set the capabilities. So here we will add two more capabilities. So let's do that. Okay, so this is for the device name and then the same uh, we would do for the platform version and we'll specify the value here, okay? So these are the two capabilities which will help us to connect to that particular device. 
and then um, it will run uh, the usual test which we have written on the real device. So uh, while running this test, uh, we can also look at the real device. Okay, so here it is. Uh, and now let's try and run this particular test. So we are going to run this on a real device. Okay. Okay, so as you can see, uh, it started the application on the device. It clicked on the particular element and then it closed uh, the server, which is specified in our test. Okay, so this is how you can automate your application on a real device and you can run your tests on a real device. Okay, now how do I see this uh, particular device um, on my system, right? So this is uh, nothing but uh, my system is basically mirroring the device. Okay, so whatever um, I perform on the device, I can see it on my system. Now there are several applications uh, present which can mirror your device. I am using one of them, which is called Visor. Okay, you can use any particular uh, software which can mirror your um, Android or iOS device. And then you can uh, basically see uh, what is present in your device right from your system rather than going back to your device. This is also useful when you are running any tests and you want to see what uh, is actually going on in your device. But that's all for this particular session. Uh, this is how we can uh, configure our real device. We can connect to the real device and we can run our tests on the real device using APM. That's all for this particular video. If you have any questions, then please leave it in the comments. If you like this video, then please subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.